we're going to talk about different trade line sites. We're going to talk a little bit about credit. One of the biggest credit companies that was out that was reporting, giving us, you know, a nice amount of money once we signed up was My Jewelers Club. As far as My Jewelers Club, My Jewelers Club is no longer able to report to the credit viewers. As far as New Coast Direct, they are no longer able to report to the credit viewers as well. It's a lot of companies being affected by this right now, so we're going to go over the ones that we can use. And it's crazy that I post a whole lot of them on my OnlyFans. You got sites that's giving you up to $150,000 business credit, like Funbox. You know what I mean? You can actually go to the site. This is on my OnlyFans. You know what I mean? I post, you know, stuff like this on my OnlyFans. Grow Credit. This is a pretty good one. You know what I mean? I post stuff like that on my OnlyFans. <laughs> Uh, yeah. First step you should do is work on your personal credit. Whatever you need to do, whether it needs clean, whether it needs built, whatever you need to do, you need to work on your personal credit. Now, on my OnlyFans, I offer a whole lot of ways to clean, build, everything. So, your personal credit is very important. At the end, I'm going to tell you why. Second step of trying to grow your business is actually going to either get an LLC a S corporation or a C corporation. So you definitely want to separate your personal from your business. And the reasons why is here. You pay two different taxes. You pay personal taxes and you pay business taxes. Let's say if you have a business, if you have a business and you receiving business payments, that is one tax. If somebody is sending you personal money, that is another tax. If most of your money is coming from your business you pay less taxes if you're just getting all types of personal money you pay more taxes so I'm pretty sure you want to pay less taxes and receive money on your business side so you do everything on a business level it's better to be protected behind a business versus just being out forefront with the personal you know step three you want to make sure the very first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna find somebody to make your website the reason why the website is so important. Now, people always ask, like, you know, what do I need a website for? A website is very important because when you're trying to get a loan, especially a nice loan, they're going to ask you, you know, what's your website? Depending on what type of banking account you're trying to open, the banker will ask, you know, what's your website to the company that you run. So it's very important that you have a website. Second, you want to get a 1 800 number. You want to get a 1-800 number and you want to register your 1-800 number all over. You want to register it on Google, you want to register it in the yellow pages, you want to register your 1-800 number all over. It separates you. You might, have a, you might have a personal phone but you need a business phone that separates you. You know what I mean? So this is your personal, this is your business. You can put that business phone anywhere because it can bring in a lot of traffic. You definitely want to get a business address. A business address is very important. You know, you might have a business but you might not even have a business address. Now the great thing is you can actually go to this site which is called WeWork. You can go to WeWork and you can actually put your area in and get a virtual office. And the reason why you want to get a virtual office is because it's a real office and it comes with a mailbox and you can go there anytime. You can involve yourself with the amenities and stuff like that. So it's like having a real office, it's a few hundred dollars a month, you got the address, and it's great for loans, credit cards, and it just makes you look good. You got a real business address that's legit versus using a home address. So your business is an entity. You have a phone number, website, and an address. The banks definitely want to see your business as a whole. They want to see the professionalism when you're asking them for capital. Once you have everything in place, you want to go open up a business banking account. You're going to take your paperwork that you filed, which will be your EIN number. You will take your ID. You will take your social security card. You know, me, I'll take everything, my birth certificate, and you will open up your banking account. They're going to ask you a whole lot of questions depending on what bank you go to. Me, I suggest you to do credit union. Credit unions are better with giving money versus regular banks. Navies and other credit unions. I got like 50 credit unions that's very, very, very generous that's posted on my OnlyFans. The list for credit unions is on my OnlyFans. So you just got to go on there, just ask me about it, and I'll just definitely give it to you. Get you a credit union, man. And um, once you go in there, you know, you know, do good with them. One thing about when you're dealing with banking accounts, never let the bank account go negative. 
you want to keep some type of income coming in there. So if somebody want to give you cash, you know what I'm saying, take it right to the bank. If somebody want to pay you through Apple Pay or whatever, just hook it all to your banking account. You know what I'm saying? Just always show them that, you know, you keep transactions coming in constantly, constantly, constantly. That way they see that and after two, three months, you'll probably be approved for a nice size credit card because the credit unions, they don't play. They give you that money. You know what I mean? They give up the great car loans. They give up good mortgages and stuff like that. So you definitely want to develop a great relationship with the bankers and keep your money coming in. So we're going to give you a hack, which when it comes to business building, you need net 30s and net 55s. You can definitely find these net 30s and net 55s and primaries on certain sites. There are certain sites that you can use to build your business credit because a lot of people have businesses and they be like, what do I need to do to build my business credit? Only thing that you have to do is sign up for certain sites that gives your business credit. Most of these sites, they just want to be partners with your business. It's showing a relationship that you and their business has to basically get you to the next level. Credit strong. You know what I mean? They will report to your business every single month showing like you got a loan, whether it's 10,000, 15,000, 20,000. And there's all types of other sites that I post on my OnlyFans that will report, which is great for your business because it's showing that your business is doing something, just not just being a business. It got income coming in. It got business credit. It has relationships with other companies. All these different sites you can actually sign up for will actually take you to the next level like that. So listen, step five is going to be net 30s and net 55s. So a net 30 is basically, let, let's just say like Uline. You get on Uline, you can buy something, then you got 30 days to pay them. And once you pay them, they go ahead and report to your credit. That's it. So that's all a net 30 is, but it definitely will help you out a lot because if you're steady buying stuff, you know what I mean? The more and more business you're doing, it shows over the time that you're doing good business. And there's plenty of sites just like that, you know what I mean, that you can sign up for. You can sign up for NAV. I mean, there's plenty. So I'm going to just be giving y'all this game or whatever. Like I said, shout out to everybody that's on my OnlyFans is learning a lot about credit, that's learning a lot about how to start up businesses, how to get their business to the next level, how to do everything, man. Like, we've been locked in, man. We had 28,000 subscribers on OnlyFans, man, and everybody is steady signing up. So shout out to all y'all, man, that's on there. I'm going to continue to go live on my OnlyFans. I'm going to continue to drop new videos, giving y'all a game on what to do, what not to do, man. You know what I'm saying? We're going to keep it like that. So listen, man, once you got these steps, you know what I mean? You know your business is going to be up and running. You should be able to get loans. You should be able to do what it do. You just got to have patience. Definitely got to have patience when it comes to businesses, man. You know what I'm saying? Just because you open up a business doesn't mean that your business is going to go to the next level. It's definitely going to be, you know, ups and downs with any and everything. It takes a whole lot of focus. It takes the right employees. Definitely want to hire the right people. If you're going to be hiring anybody, don't get to hiring friends and family members. That's the worst thing that you can possibly do because they know you really well. And most likely, they're not going to treat your business how you're going to treat your business because they know you. That means that they're going to show up late. They might not show up. They're not going to promote it. They're not going to care. Your best bet would be, a, would be going to a company, having a company hire people by their resume that's professional. You know what I mean? That way you can you can check backgrounds. You can make sure you're not hiring some psycho. You know what I mean? You want to make sure everything is in an order when you're hiring the right person for your company. That's very, very, very important. You know, um, you because what you built, you know, from the ground up can be all tore down by one person. You know, they can be stealing from you, robbing from you, um, you know, stuff like that. So you definitely want to avoid that. You definitely want to make sure everything that you have is insured. You want to make sure your items that you buy is insured. You want to make sure, you know, the overall company have insurance, man. Just yourself as well, you know, it's very important just to have insurance. Insurance play a big part in America these days, man. Like, people, like, underestimate it, but it's very, very important. Like, when, when it comes to businesses and we see other businesses that's, like, all around the world, you know what I'm saying? And every state we go to, we see business here, business there. Don't just think that it just took, 
you know, one person. A lot of that stuff comes from having big investors. Like, for instance, like a Walmart. Walmart is just, just didn't start off with like a, just a person unless they was already just rich. But most of these big companies, they start off with like groups of investors and you know what I mean? They come in, they start and they start with a whole lot of money. And you know, one successful business do good, then the banks see that, then the banks will continue to fund you on the next project and the next project and the next project because now you have proof that you know this business is a winner and they can trust you to build the next business and the next business and the next business and a lot of the times most of these companies they are um, you know in good debt you know so they might be like six hundred million dollars in good debt because they have like so many around the world and they're study building them and study building them and study building them, but the profit is coming in so crazy that it doesn't even matter. So, you know, banks got millions and billions and trillions of dollars to lend out. That's what a bank is for, to give you money. You just have to properly set your business up the right way. And that's the reason why I'm telling y'all about this video, because if you do things the right way, you could avoid a whole lot of things. In the Say Cheese interview, I was talking about child support. I was talking about how um, most guys can set themselves up you know with their company depending on what they make if you got 13 14 employees and you also on payroll and you paying yourself that is literally legally you know a check stub for yourself so if you um if somebody asked for a check stub shit that's your check stub you know what i mean because your business you have other people on there you might not be the person who you know put up the money to actually open up this business you might be a vice president and this person might be the owner and this person might be this and this turn so a person can't say well his business is this his business is that you know what I mean because if you got they have to have proof they just can't go after a person's business and say well this business has to give up this person this or give this person that so you know as long as you get in the check cut you can use that check to get to that you know what I'm saying and do what you got to do though man i just had to give y'all some free game on that but definitely business is the way to go you know the business credit don't get finessed or tricked by just having a good credit score just because you see uh your personal credit score at 800 or 840 doesn't mean that you can go get a hundred thousand dollar loan if you never hit hundred thousand dollar loan before most likely you're not going to get one if you have to work your way up and everything it's credit history it's auto history and it's loan history so credit card history auto credit history and loan history you need all three of those that's why it's good to get a secure credit card it's good to get a secure loan if you ain't never had a car before go get the cheapest car on a lot the next time after six seven months of paying that car and showing good payments then you upgrade so if the car 20 you jump in a car that's like 45 50 after six seven months of paying that you jump in a car that's 65 70 you work your way up until you got the best credit. Now you're just going on car lot, signing your name. Now when you ask for a hundred thousand dollar loan, they giving you three, four hundred thousand. Now when you ask for a hundred thousand dollar credit card, they giving you two, three hundred thousand. It all works step by step. Now, as far as with trade lines, um, a lot of the credit viewers, like I said, I was telling y'all about my jewelers club earlier. My jewelers club is definitely like ran through. You know what I mean? So. A lot of these trade line sites like trade line supply and stuff like that, they're still up and running. But at the same time, you know, you want to be your own trade line, meaning like there is nothing better than a secure credit card or a secure loan. You can, you know, do all this and go get your um, trade line or whatever. But, you know, banks are catching on to trade lines with the new program they get out now. They can see that your credit score, you know, is high only because of trade lines. Now, they don't know that a lot of people are smart enough to actually go in a bank to get the secure credit card. So once you get the secure credit card and then you get the secure loan, you know what I mean? At the same time, you paying it back. The best way to do it is, is to pay it back fast as you can. So let's say if they gave me 20000 and, you know, I, I paid them back $20,000, you know, very fast versus, you know, waiting a month. Or, you know what I mean? Because it's cool to, you know, get a loan and wait, pay it, you know, use very little, but you pay it back and then get another 20000 to pay it back quick again. Then you can call them and say, hey, listen, man, I done paid this money back twice quick. You know what I mean? I just need a limit increase. And you can continue to call in and ask for limit, in limit increases, you know what I mean? Showing them, like, look, you know, I'm mean, using the money and I'm giving it right back. I need more money. And they'll see that and they'll just be like, oh, yeah, he definitely paying it back quick. And, 
you know, before his time that he have to pay it back. So it's little credit boost hacks that you can do and uh, limit increase hacks that you can do. One thing I want to let you guys know, credit bureaus frown up at you if you ever lose your car, you know what I mean, and tell them that you, your car was lost or stolen. That's like one of the worst things that you can do. You'll be better off telling them that your dog chewed up your car and, you know, you might need to get a new one. You know, versus saying that your card is actually lost or stolen because it just makes you look uh, responsible to the uh, credit bureaus. They have a whole lot of different types of rules and all types of little tactics and ways. Just as well as I was telling y'all about, it's very important on certain places you even use your cards. They know if you're using your card in the hood. They know if you're using your card in a rich neighborhood. They know if your card is going in a wealthy neighborhood or if it's going in a poor neighborhood. So that's why I was telling you guys when you apply and if you get a business address, it makes you look better and that limits it be higher. You know what I mean? It just makes you look better when things are better. Like when it's going to a home address, you know, your limit might get low because they already don't trust it and they feel like they're giving out free money. You know what I mean? Because you might be one of them people that might not care about your credit. Like we care about our credit. Like we care about our business credit. You know, I feel like business credit is really important and a lot of people don't feel like it you know their credit is important like on my only fans and they like well you know I just want quick cash and stuff like that and I just be like well you know you have millions of dollars just sitting waiting on you only thing that you have to do is just take a little patience and follow the steps of credit and building it up the right way so you can be able to get anything that you want but a lot of people don't have patience they want money like right right now like in five years they're not gonna need money again or in ten years they're not gonna need money again so I feel like credit cards and loans and stuff like that with your credit score can like actually change your life. And if you do everything the right way, then you're going to be thankful that you did do it. You know what I mean? Like literally to this day, people is thanking me like, man, bro, my score went up because of you because I was on your OnlyFans and um, I signed up for some of these sites that you told me and look at my credit or, I, hey, bro, you helped me, you know, fix my credit or, man, you told me about these letters and I look more into it. And, you know, I actually able to clean my own credit or, you know, it's, so I just look at like, it's better to just be able to know, you know, everything about credit. It's like one of the number one things. If you want to get to some money, because this could be somebody with money, but they don't know, you know, what a trade line is. They don't know what a net 30 is. They don't know what a, um, S corporation is, you know, or if they do. They definitely should have one definitely in motion, you know what I mean, whether it's regular or age. But if you got the money, why not buy one that's regular and get an age corp? It doesn't hurt because you want to see the benefits from one or the other. Okay, well, the age is, has gotten me better credit cards or this one has gotten me this or this one has gotten me that. You know what I mean? What's wrong with it? You know, by having an age corporation, you're going to get better benefits. So I definitely want to put you all up on that, man. Make sure you all subscribe to my OnlyFans, man, right now. Go to myonlyfans.com slash bandman kevo man. Hit me up in a DM after y'all watch this man. Just say put YouTube. Inbox me right now, OnlyFans, man. Put YouTube. I definitely send y'all some guys for free, man. Just make sure y'all let me know when y'all see this video. Click and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram at bandman underscore K-E-V-O on Twitter at bandman kevo. And I'm about to start going live on my YouTube. So stay tuned, man. Make sure y'all Turn on y'all notifications, man, so y'all can always be. Uh, yeah. Fresh at the gym. Uh, uh, I might flex on the gram. Uh, yeah. My low in my boots. Yeah. Yeah.